Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live, uh, Mike, uh, Mike Sempervivi. Not Mark Sempervivi, although sometimes on this show. Combination of the show's Thunderdome debut and being the day after SummerSlam led Raw to its best numbers in more than four months, averaging 2.03 million viewers and a .67 rating and 18-49 numbers up 23% in viewers, but more importantly, 40% at 18 to 49. So they did have a younger audience checking them out at about 250,000 in the 18 to 49 demo that have not been watching Raw in the past several months. It was mostly 35 to 49 gains since the 18 to 34 increase was 18%. They cannot get this young audience. It's incredible. First, a third hour drop of 11%, slightly better than most weeks, but it's in the normal range. So it was not people checking out new technology and then leaving. It was a lot of new, curious viewers who mostly stayed, which is a good sign. Key to this isn't that the numbers for the day after SummerSlam were good, but they went against heavy competition. Republican National Convention, 6.54 million viewers on Fox News alone, as well as big numbers on other cable stations. Plus, there was NBA playoffs on TNT, 3 million viewers, 1.34 and 18-49 for the late game. 2.05 million and 0.66 in the early game, which is interesting, actually. They did. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do some math off the top of my head. Uh oh. Let's see. 1.34, 0. 0.66. Double, double the 18 to 49 in the later game. Wow. Raw was 6 and 18 to 49 for the night, 20th overall. First hour, 2.14 million. Very good first hour. Second hour, 2.05 million. Very good. And 1.90 million in the third hour, which for the third hour is very good. So, it, to me, listen, we have not seen a big post-pay-per-view bump. I can't even remember the last time. It's been a long, long time. So, to me, this is the Thunderdome. It's people that the show is so much more lively it's so much more exciting. I, I mean, yes, we are having some problems with, with things on the screens, which, by the way, I have been told that they're going to be making some changes. And I, I, I don't know this for sure, but the impression that I get is, you know, when they've been doing this for a while, they are going to find some fans that are going to obey the rules no matter what. Maybe they've done it for three shows already. You know, we, we've had... Uh, uh, Jesse, who was in our chat, who was, I think, on Raw, if I recall correctly. Dynamite. And, excuse me? Dynamite. No, she, she was, was on, on Raw. I saw her on Raw on the screen with my own two eyes. Oh, she, she, she was, was on Raw. Okay. Oh, well, physically, she was at the so Dynamite anyway, show. So anyway, she's not going to hold up some goofy sign. How the hell is she showing up at all these places? We well, need to have her on to let us know what the 411 is and how well, she maybe gets the we inside will. info. But anyway, she gets in there. that's beside the point. The point is, like, she can be trusted, and they're finding other people that can be trusted. And so I believe what they're going to do is they're going to find all the people they can trust who've done this before and, and are trustworthy, and they are going to be in the lower bowl. And then everybody who they don't necessarily trust, first-timers, they're going to throw them all up into the upper bowl and... They could put a volcano on the screen. You're not going to be able to see it because it's way up there in the upper bowl. I, I think that's where things right are now. going here. But anyway, oh, the point yes. of all of this is mm -hmm. the Thunderdome is a huge improvement over empty dark arenas. And I think that that's clear from the numbers. Now, you, there's still a show. I thought the show Monday pretty much sucked. So we got to hope that the show sucking is only going to run off a small number of those people that came back. But we'll see. We'll see on Friday the second week of Thunderdome for SmackDown, and we'll see next Monday, second night of Thunderdome. And who knows what will happen when there's no conventions drawing 6 million viewers. Maybe it's going to be even better. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, we, we've seen this bump before. The Raw Underground was this, oh, look, look at this. There, somebody's coming back. Nothing Last, like this. I mean, it, no, nothing like this, but my God, look how low they've been for so long. So maybe this has snapped uh, lapsed fans over the last six months back into, you know, maybe paying attention again or getting back into regular viewing. I doubt it. You know, I'll believe it when it happens. When this is, becomes a trend, then I'll worry about it. For right now, 
it's a plus because it's an improvement, but we'll have to see if this was just a one-time shot because it was after the uh, SummerSlam, and people may have heard about the Thunderdome on SmackDown and they wanted to, to see it on Raw, and that was maybe the first time that they did so. So well, it, was it enough to make people come back? I don't know. You know, the presentation is more lively. It does offer a bit of, you know, randomness and danger, I guess. You know, there's obviously the, the stuff that, you know, should not have made itself up there. But, you know, in some ways for WWE right now, I'm not saying, any, you know, any news is good news, but there are probably going to be people that are going to be curious as to what they heard. How does this stuff make it up to the screen? What does it look like? We'll see how it goes. But again, unless this is going to be, you know, a couple weeks, there's really nothing you can take out of this other than there was a little bit of interest peaked. Further details of WWE's contract with the city of Orlando, Florida, were revealed on Tuesday. Greg Engel first reported the details of the contract that will see WWE pay the city a minimum. So, a couple of days ago, we had some info, and it was, they're going to pay $450,000 from now until the end of October. And I was like, dude, $450,000 from now till the end of October for a company that used to spend more than $1 million a show when they were renting out arenas, a company that's making more money than they've ever made before. This is a steal. Well, now it turns out they're going to pay the city a minimum of $200,000 to rent this through October 31st. A minimum of $200,000. Dude. We need to run our show from the Amway Center. For real. The venue is going to get $12,000 for a Sunday pay-per-view, $10,000 for any Monday through Friday events, $7,500 for days in which WWE personnel work inside the building, and $2,500 for a dark day when no work is happening. Hey. Free money to the city, an incredible deal for WWE. There's no I other way you can say I don't think that we could make this up in cheers, but it's certainly not out of the realm of possibility that we could rent the Amway Center for a day here on Wrestling Observer Live. We all $10, know some guys. Know some guys. Yeah. I realize nothing's <laughs> happening in the building, but my God, holy smokes. Dude, do you guys see the amount of money that this company is making on the last report? Largely because they weren't running arenas anymore. I mean, dude, it's ridiculous. So we also know that the next pay-per-view after payback will be Sunday, September 27th. WWE can extend or shorten the contract with two weeks notice. So, dude, if I'm WWE and this is doing good numbers, I... <laughs> May as well extend this contract through the end of the year, or through the end of next year. Just, it's crazy. This hey, is look, a crazy it, good deal. As long as they're down with this idea, I mean, what are you going to do? Break up the monitors and move them somewhere else? If you're doing this idea and they're not going to do anything else inside that building, yeah, you're going to use that thing for as long as you can, I think. As long as it's functional, as long as Vince thinks it's a good idea. I mean, I, I think they're in, I don't know if they're in there to stay, but. They're in there to stay. I mean, again, what, what are you going to do? Break all that stuff up and leave? No way. 